Origin provides a selection of built-in templates for creating graphs quickly from your data. However, what if you want to interactively create a graph by assigning columns for plotting and attributes such as panels and colors in a flexible way? With this in mind, we have created a GraphMaker app introduced in version 2019. Here, I have a worksheet with columns of data that are numeric and categorical. I will start by opening the GraphMaker app. In this app, plotting is as easy as dragging and dropping columns to the assigned variable. I will first select power as a function of engine displacement. You can see in the preview panel that there is a correlation between the two. I will now assign other columns for splitting the data into panels. I drag country to the vertical panel and luxury to the horizontal panel. The data has now been divided into multiple panels using country as vertical and luxury as horizontal. Now let's quantify the correlation. I can select fitting checkbox where I can choose the polynomial order and leave it as one. I can turn on confidence and prediction bands and I can click on this icon for further customizations. For example, select Pearson's R as a label. Now my graph is done, I can save the graph as page view, which is fixed width, or window view. When I choose window view and the graph is created, I can dynamically resize the panels by simply dragging the graph to the desired aspect ratio. Now let's take a look at another example with the same data. I will launch the app again and this time uncheck single Y and I will look at 0 to 60 miles per hour, as well as gas mileage, and I'm going to change the plot type to bar chart. Note that there are many plot types to choose from. This plots the mean and deviation of the data. I will choose country as the vertical vertical panel and luxury as the horizontal panel. I have completed my graph and select OK. Let's do one more example where I have some data with X, Y, and error bar in two different categories. I have dose response data with an inhibitor and data with no inhibitor. Start the app again and this time drag log dose as X and response as my Y. And to turn on the error bar, select this checkbox and drag column D for Y error. To distinguish between the inhibitor and no inhibitor, I'm going to drag this column and assign it to the interior shape of the symbol. Now you can see that the inhibitor is plotted as closed symbol and no inhibitor as plotted as open symbol. Click OK to create the graph. Please try this GraphMaker app and please provide feedback. Thank you.